quite a number of time i've seen people tell me oh bimbola you know what i'm fed up with crypto right i'm fed up with crypto you know i'm tired of it now say why you say man i've lost so much money i've lost a fortune i've lost you know thousands of dollars hundreds of dollars you know through crypto i started cryptocurrency way back in 2000 and something you know they'll say that okay and ever since that period in now i've lost considerable amount of money so i feel empathy you know for you if you're in this position okay if this has happened to you you know i really feel your i feel your your pain okay i feel your pain really now i'm going to show you seven ways to avoid losing money okay and there are also seven ways through which you can lose money but if you know them you can avoid them isn't it now let us get started now the first way that people lose money in crypto is you know pool exchanges pool exchanges i mean you know when i say pool exchanges and i say something like exchanges that are not even up to standard now um for the fact that this industry is you no know, seriously let me say unregulated or underregulated right that's by the fact that you know the industry is kind of underregulated because you know there is a little bit of regulation but it's still pretty much underregulated that's part of this fact you still have the guts you have the you know the confidence to register on anyhow exchange okay exchanges especially centralized exchanges okay or even there are some mushroom decentralized exchanges that you should never connect your wallet to now you still go ahead you know some people tell me that they have funds on exchanges i never heard of in my life you know i've been in this crypto space for over half a decade and people still come to my idea to tell me about exchanges that i've never heard of in my life i've, I've never come across them now i'll be asking i'll be wondering how did these people how did these people know about these exchanges like what really what drove them i want to know okay what are the things that drives them to platforms like that i'll say whoa oh sorry i never heard about this before don't worry i will search online and find out about it all right and these are new guys these are new enthusiasts in the industry using exchanges that are literally should be regarded as a low grade or let me say third tier exchanges all right so i'm not really saying that you know the new ones are bad i'm not saying that all right but if your priority is that you don't want to lose money in this space you should avoid them all right there are lots of them that actually packed up you know shortly after the last bull market many of them they got hacked some said it was an internal hack you know um they kind of um self-engineer it stuff like that so if you really want to protect your mind you know you have platforms like the, the, the third tier exchange let me show you those exchanges real quick okay go to coinmarketcap.com okay coinmarketcap.com this is it now how do you know exchanges that you should be using you know you come here i'm going to leave you a link below okay in the video description so they can just go right and click and sign up if you don't have an account on those platforms yet so come here click on this go to sports like this okay look at this top 10 my dear friends okay look at this top 10 have you finished signing up on this top 10 first before you started going to like you know the last 50 the last 40 you, you don't get it all right so look at them this ones have you know a huge volume they have crazy amount of liquidity they have millions of weekly visits all right millions of weekly visits all right they have a good market they have support you know up you know a wide range of cryptocurrencies on the platform all right so but you go ahead to sign up on those platforms whereby you know i don't even know some of them are not even on coin market cap you search and search and search you scroll down even to the bottom you can't still find them okay so i see people come to my dm on what i say oh i have an account so this platform say, ah, come on how did you even find about this platform for god's sake all right so you want to be careful guys you want to be extremely careful that's number one number two 
Okay, number two is this one. Look at this. Okay. Always use 12 If you have if you are using Android phone, you can use Ulti. Okay. If you have, if you have iOS, you know, use Tofu. Okay, Tofu looks like it is even more secure than Ulti right now. All right. And then they have a kind of high tech, you know, a kind of they have kind of high tech technology more than okay. Let me say high technology rather, <laughs> not high tech. <laughs> <laughs> they have they have higher technology than Alt right now. Okay, sometimes Alt can just you know people can still manipulate Alt. Okay, there has been there has been a lot of cases, a lot of reports that people were able to reset the people that people's Alt you know by gaining access to their email address. So, but with this guy, it is practically not possible. So this is an advantage for iOS users. If you're using if you're using Apple for Apple, if you're using iOS or you no know, iOS devices, you know go for tofu instead of Oti. but because Oti does not exist you know, you know sorry because tofu does not exist for android users well just stick around with Oti. don't make the mistake i repeat don't make the mistake of using your phone as to have your mobile phone you know you're always waiting for exchanges you know to send a call to you as sms all right don't rely only on that one for some people, they rely heavily on two uh, on their mobile phone, but their their uh, mobile two FE. That is not right. Okay, that is not right. Please, don't use your email only. Some people rely on their email, like until they send a, an email to them. Okay, they now they copy the code, then go back to exchange. No, don't rely too much on that. Okay, please. Go ahead and set up your 2FA in a proper way. You can use Google Authenticator if you want, but most people be prefer OT because they can use on multiple devices and kind of you know it switches easily for comfort, for, for convenience and comfort. All right. So OT for Android and Tofu for iOS, very important. All right. And that will now take us to the third step. Okay, the third step, the third ways to avoid losing money in crypto okay out of the seven ways i'm going to show you today so i'm going to show you this one right here always use a non-custodial wallet all right those of you who know me okay if you're a subscriber and you probably know me on whatsapp on telegram like you've attended you know series of weekly hangouts that we do on the platform okay if you attend series of hangouts we've done on the platform then you know that i'm specific okay and i always emphasize it that you use a non-custodian wallet okay all right that's quite important because when you say custody custody means that somebody is in custody of that thing if you want to use it you need a permission all right so that is bad now if you store your crypto on exchanges maybe on binance on kucoin on coinbase on you know if you store your crypto on those platforms, those are custodian wallets. You will need the permission. Somebody needs to authorize it from their end, okay, from a centralized platform before you can withdraw it out of that place. But for a non-custodian wallet, you don't need such permission, right? Even most custodian wallets that we use, they are always open source, in the sense that even if the wallet service provider stops working. I mean, like they are not working in, anymore. Okay, an example is Electrum for Bitcoin wallets. If you have a, Electrum, for instance, now, and maybe something happened and Electrum stopped working, okay, you can go to the, uh, the um, depository or repository rather on GitHub, you know, copy the code, you know, and use that to create another kind of wallet that looks like Electrum for yourself or for other people generally okay and build a front end to interact with it it's as simple as that so if gnosis for instance stops working okay it is what you see on, on your computer screen or your phone screen is just the front end okay the back end is seriously open sourced all right and if you know what you are doing okay those that even have the technical the the knowledge they can even interact with it without even the front end yeah so that is the advantages 
Okay, or let me say those are the advantages of having a non custodian wallet, a non custody, a non custodian, non custody. Nobody is in custody of it. Does that make sense to you now? Now, that's going to take us to the next stage. Okay, impulsive and excessive degen, you know, can make you lose money badly in the crypto space. That's the truth. You are degen. Every new coins that gets into the industry, you are always, you know, you are always onto it. You know, you are not much different from a gambler. You know that I trade memes, I do memes, you know, but that is after due diligence. And I think we have a video on this channel that demonstrates to you how you should be trading memes. If I miss memes coins when it was rising in value, going down and pumping and pumping and pumping. Okay, what everybody's talking about. If I miss the opportunity to get involved in it, I don't have any problem with it. I'm gonna wait on exchange. Okay, if you know if you have good background in trading, okay, when the mem coin is about to crash, because every mem coin that pumps, it almost crashes as much as it pumps. It dumps as much, almost as soon as it, as it pumps. Okay, and if you look at your chart today, whether bonk. Whether uh whether Dutch, whether Shiba Inu, whether uh which one again? Uh Bonk, whether Bonke, whether uh Trump or Trump, you know, whether Weef, dog with hearts, okay, or Kokino, any of them like that. Okay, they had the prime time, the crash. So if you missed the opportunity, instead of you just be like be you know, be making a lot of gambles, you can wait for them on certain platforms, you know. And open shots with a reasonable leverage when they get to the top. You are simply gonna make money. Alright? You're simply gonna make money. So do not buy anything and everything that you see. Buy because you are convinced and you've done your due diligence. And it is unreasonable for you to have, you know, to allocate more than 15% of your portfolio to MEMS. It is unreasonable. Okay? It is unreasonable. So, in as much as you take risk on memes or you degen, make sure it's only a fraction of the portfolio that you use for it. Know when to exit, okay? When the party is over, know how to say goodbye and leave the party. Except if you know you don't have you, can't, you don't have self-control, please avoid degen and memes. It's as simple as that. There is Bitcoin, there's Ethereum, you can still make money with those ones. There's Solana, there's Cardano, there's BNB, several of them. Because you could still make money with those ones. Alright. So otherwise you will lose badly. These are ways, these are one of the ways that people are losing money in crypto for God's sake. Alright. So that's gonna take us to the next one right here. Okay, which is trading without knowledge. Okay, trading without knowledge. If you do not have a sound knowledge of trading, you don't have a community, you know, that actually does these things. You don't have a mentor that does these things. Okay, you don't have a qual you don't have access to the quality knowledge of trading. All right, please avoid it. Otherwise, you're going to lose money. And these are these are, these are some of the ways that people are losing money in crypto. Okay, that is the number five way. Number fifth, the fifth way people are losing money in crypto. Right. So if you don't have the knowledge, if you want to trade, if you must trade and you want to trade the market, especially the derivative and futures markets or margin markets or options markets, if you want to trade them, okay, please make sure you are knowledgeable about the market. Otherwise, your money will be given to those that knows how to do it. It's as simple as that. All right. So, if you must trade, if you want to become a trader, get knowledge, get mentorship, belong to the right community. Okay, if you want, you can join the Trade Your Book Camp. Okay, or you can you can uh, have a one on one training session with me if you want. Otherwise, stick to sports trading. Okay, because in sport trading, you still have second chance. Yes, all right, you don't get liquidated in the sports market. Not possible. The 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 coin value by gold down so bad, but you are never going to get liquidated in that market, All right? So and anything can happen, and the value might still rise again and give you the possible 
exit points or help you to reduce your losses all right so much a lot of money can be made on, on uh, futures markets but you need to know how it is made and how to give out it so that is it so the sixth way right here is called farming oh i want to farm this coin i want to farm that coin are you aware of what they call in permanent losses do you know about that okay are you aware of what they call in permanent losses like sometimes you have to like pair two crypto coins together to farm a specific coin like probably it's possible you have to pair um sometimes you have to pair shibaino with usdt to farm what shibaino now listen this is how it works now you paid one thousand dollars of shibaino against one thousand usdt totally you have two thousand dollars on worth of coins pair together for farming as you're farming it let's say the price of shibaino crashed by 70 percent okay now you have more shibaino you have less usdt okay and now the price of shibaino has crashed badly so by the time you sell that shibaino okay you might be left with let me say um 300 dollars worth of shibaino okay and probably like um 600 worth of usdt for instance if you add it together that's 900 so by the time you you remove that liquidity from dex and you decide to sell convert to dollar or whatever fair coins you are comfortable with or you are using your country okay you might have suffered what you call in permanent loss now when you now look at what you are able to farm i now sell it probably what you are able to farm is now worth 300 dollars that's 300 plus 300 plus 300 plus what plus 100 that is 1002 1200 you know minus sorry 2000 yeah minus 2000 that's going to give you a negative balance okay so you are now having an impermanent loss of 800 dollars so you're going to be down by 40 percent okay if you want to have, if you want to make a practical video on this on how it works i can show you how it works like in real in real time and it will simulate it for you all right so if you cannot if you don't have the uh, the the stomach like you don't have the you know the shock absorber to absorb the impermanent the shock that comes from the impermanent, impermanent loss please know what you're doing otherwise stick with stable coin farming like you still you kind of provide USDT and uh, die liquidity on the platform whatever they're giving to you might be so small but it could be better than incurring a big impermanent loss you know on the portfolio now the last one which is this okay which is this one it was, it's what I, I call it spoofing okay spoofing now listen, listen you you've been trading cryptocurrency you've been on decks you've been on you know the one day you want just you know you saw an advert on google on telegram on facebook on, and you're like they're promising you like nearly a thousand you know apy 2000 apr you know stake now you know stuff like that stake and end this stake and you know you saw it whereas please look at this you're supposed to click on pancake no this is not my website right pancake swap maybe dot finance like this okay this will have been the right website all right but what did you see okay what did you see maybe they said pancake maybe it's like a uh, finance just an example please they now have finance dot pancake swap all right this is a wrong website when you click on it it you know the interface might look exactly like pancake swap the moment you connect your wallet to it that will be that will be the end your money will be gone all right you're going to be hacked so 
when you visit a website that is legitimate make sure it is bookmarked on the desktop make sure it is bookmarked on the phone in case you want to visit that website again go to your bookmark that's how that, that is how you can be sure that you are visiting the right website make it the right text the right exchanges the right protocol right or the right uh in a marketplace now it could also be something like this look it could be pancake like this pancake dot swap i think you are visiting the right websites man you might likely be visiting a fake website okay that will have a malicious code that will get rid of your money get it so if you look at this again i said several ways to avoid this money in crypto number one you know avoid pool exchanges okay use those exchanges those low rated ones okay that can just close their shop at any time so use to fa either auti or tofu right so make sure you are always big on non-custodian wallets yeah you get that right you know avoid the gen avoid memes if you do not know how to play okay even if you know how to play make sure that it doesn't constitute a bigger part of the portfolio okay so they don't suffer a mental a mental challenge <laughs> a mental problem okay because this is money this is money if you do so big it can affect you mentally right so trading without knowledge that trading without knowledge can make you lose money okay make sure you acquire the right knowledge before you get involved in it farming could actually lead you to implement loss on your portfolio <laughs> it kind of big damage right so make sure you understand what you're doing before you start farming right so also spoofing make sure you always bookmark the website okay and if at all you want to visit a website and it's not bookmarked yet make sure you always go through coin market for instance now let's say you want to check you want to like go to pancake swap just type pancake like this okay pancake then you come here if you come here and you scroll down you will definitely see the website here okay you see the official website here it is it is unlikely this is very unlikely that the uh that the fake website will make it to coin market cap very unlikely even though even though it does okay it's not take so much time before people will call their attention to it and but if it has ever happened before okay so the chance is zero for now all right so or 0 0.1 let me just say 0 0.1 so you can check this out it will lead you to the right platform you can see pancakeswap.finance now i want to believe that you've learned something you know throughout this so if you've learned something like if you've learned something new or something amazing or, or you even you are even you are even reminded about something you've known before okay i i helped you to, re to reinforce what you've known before please use the comment box and let me know what you have learned so far okay share with your friends all right subscribe if you're a return subscriber if you're a new subscriber if you're a return subscriber please uh make sure that you share with your friends you know thanks to you for subscribing i appreciate you guys every you know every one of you make sure also that you share with your friends let them know okay you can actually save people by sharing this information with them. Thank you.